um, to change your to change like commentary name, you go to commentary thing on here. So then, and then press save. Always save to like check your thing. Oh, yeah. okay. so stop recording when the man stop when the and you already hit start, right? Yes. And is this on? Yes. Okay. So it's been hearing me. This explains to you all. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna So here we got Killablue versus KJH. Killablue, lots of Fox practice. Plays against all the Champagne Foxes, but uh, KJH probably got a little bit more of it. You know, he has Ginger, Michigan, pretty stacked state. And here you can see like his game plan. He's just gonna wanna act out of all the lasers quickly and then full hop over when Killablue thinks he has a good beat on approach. But there the double laser works. And it sets up a bit of a punish, but Killablue not able to capitalize. So back and forth right now. No one's really been able to open up the game just yet, but KGH set up a bit of an edge guard. No, but a ledge cancel. Kill Blue playing it pretty safe. Still close game. Oh, he's kind of st stood still there for a moment before he had that back air. Oh, and the down smash gets that weird hitbox. Sometimes can set up for combos, but there it was not in Kill Blue's favor. Mm, this is gonna look pretty close, but yeah. But especially if you're a lower seated player going in against somebody like KJH, you want to get out with a good head of steam because you can't help but feel like the rate of adaptation, it's going to be in the higher seated player's favor. You know, KJH, he's been around, he's been everywhere. Should be well set up to go far in bracket, but not if Killblue has anything to say about it. But here there's a bit of a strong punish. Killblue gets down. Not a terrible percent. Like, Fox can get a lot of stuff going, but. It's not to the point. It still needs like multiple neutral wins or uh, well executed, well executed like edge guard or just advantage state. Here you see there, lasers. Ooh, Killaboo standing a bit still too much. You can see him there. Felt like at the start of the match he was moving really fluidly. Not oh, but an OMS attack. Hopes are still alive, but it's gonna need a big Falco combo to get back. I don't think he has what it is. Has it? Any. First big up smash. Game one goes to KJ. Okay. Alright. Game two. Yoshi's story. I think this is a decent choice, you know. But I think against a player like KJH, who's going to be really able to mitigate the laser and take full advantage of Fox's mobility, I think I might have liked something like Fountain or maybe even Yoshi's just to like take advantage of Falco's like, combos on the platforms. Because here it's going to be tough, especially on transformations, to get out a lot of what KJH wants to do. And you can see here already, KJH isn't going to have any problems taking advantage of the all the space. You can see, simple up throw, up smash. Not will start him out. And a shine there just to cover, since he wasn't fast enough in time with the grab. But, you know, as we're developing here, Kill Blue's game plan is becoming more and more evident over time. He just wants to wall out. He doesn't feel too confident in his ability to make a read on how KJH is going to respond to him. And, you know, 
it's not failing, so to speak. It's still pretty close, but I feel like KGH is definitely the kind of player who knows just how to pick it apart over time. You see there, the auto-cancel bear got grabbed. And a good defense by KGH, able to get around that bear at the ledge. Oh, but Killaboo makes it back as well, so not out of it yet, but he just calls out that Killaboo's going to want to press a button out of shield. He's just not going to sit there, and that'll take care of the stop. And, uh, this... Ooh, shine, shine the bear. I'm set up this... Oh, and the laser there. That was really crucial. He went for the ginger bear right there, where you, um, don't give Falco a chance to attack, but... Still not enough, and KGH is up with a full stock right now, and this is a pretty commanding position, if you a double laser. Ah, that was a pretty good one. KJ just didn't mean to look he was going to try and punish anything. On an air dodge out. Killer Blues, you know, he isn't, he's behind right now, but he isn't, he isn't like losing ground, I'd say. But just as I say that, this might be big, but a slide off into Dare keeps that punish under control as well. Oh, and a back air there. He's not lying. Oh, and. KGH looked like he's already caught on to Killaboo wanting to double laser a little bit. So we'll come back to that, but Killaboo's managed to follow through with that punish. Down only 86%, but looks like it's going to be a full stock after that tech chase up smash. And, you know, this is where, if you're Killaboo, you know, maybe KGH is like feeling good about himself, maybe he feels like, maybe feels comfortable, and you just want to come out of the gate and get something really strong in order to, you know, put KJH on his toes and, I guess, just kind of help yourself out mentally for the rest of the set. Oh, but a jump read there by KJH. Crouch cancels a get-up attack and a back air. And that looks like it'll be that for the game and the set. In a well-played set, the set count not totally indicative of what happened, but KJH definitely was in the advantage for most of the game. Looks like next we have Morse Code and Unsure. Uh, Morse Code being from Michigan. Solid Samus player, uh, ranked 99th this year. 